this thing again. did like flamingos. Too... pink.
our future. P6 and P7. Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? It doesn't matter. We need to find that projector. All of the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me.
We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan, and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector... Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power. Something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's, that's saying something. Prime candidate six. And the sister as well. Or once we catch up with her, but the, the boy. So much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Robert's got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work.
I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no, it's So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. studied what happened in Ordinary here. That's the place to start looking.
The only thing creepier than one mannequin is a few dozen of the damn things. Ordinary. So much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I mean, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. After North Moore stepped down. I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads dead ends and disappointments. Then, P6, Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents, they're gone, casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own family, my daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice.
Ellen and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Very different ones, sure, but both in a cell of some sort. Am I out of the cell now, or is all this, the house and being the director, just another cell? Of course we are. It started there and it's...
altered item number 52AE analysis session. I will be introducing various stimuli to the first a low voltage shock. Next, I will attempt to communicate. Can you understand me? Can you understand my words? Quack, if you can understand my words. Session 2, we'll need time to prepare further tests. Disappearing ducks. Great. This must be one of Langston's altered items.
whacking. on your list is now back in the Panopticon, safe and sound. That's a load off my mind. Missing altered items don't exactly reflect well on me, you know. Did they give you any trouble? The Flamingo pulled me into the astral plane just like the fridge did. That same creature was there. Hmm. I was looking over the old activity reports, and multiple items have been displaying much more destructive behavior in the past few weeks. There's some connection there, I bet, but... That's a bit above my pay grade. Hmm. Well, something to keep an eye on. And if I have any more runaways, I'll know just who to call. I guess this is my life now. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Always. Charlie 7 returned from the next
it coming, though. I should get these back to him. You have to write everything in your made up. Here are the pouches. I found six. Well, that's all of them. Not counting mine. Well, I guess I'll just have to wear all of them. It sounds sappy, I know, but. Well, it's all I can think to do. Nothing's easy with the hiss. Is it rude to ask what's inside? What's inside the pouches? Too late now. Now, the story's confidential, but, uh, well, I guess I can tell you, being the director and all. So, uh, the Bureau had heard rumors of a werewolf gathering upstate every full moon. Us being rookies, they sent us to confirm it was bullshit. Hold on, is he about to tell me werewolves are real? Turns out, there was an altered item that was creating violent gravitational anomalies during full moons. Oh, man, we nearly bit it that night. Well, to remember the occasion we all bought silver bullets to wear around our necks. Just in case we ever ran into another werewolf. So why did you leave the rangers? I thought I could do more good here. And somebody's got to protect the people who protect everybody else, right? I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. <laughs>